Alright guys, so today we're going to talk about Mark of Impurity and the Trial Belt. So, 100% chance to inflict Mark of Impurity to an enemy when they are hit. That is actually not 100% chance. Sometimes you will hit an enemy and they will not get the mark. Uh, we will come back to that later. I do not know what causes this, uh, but it is definitely not 100% chance. It is pretty high though, so you will most likely inflict mark when you hit an enemy. Um, first thing to know, mark of impurity marks an enemy inflicting a number of curse element stacks on them. All right, so this is actually not true. If you if you do not take this modifier, it will not inflict a number of curse element stacks. So if you want to inflict curse, you need to take this. Another thing to note is that curse at this very moment, 1.0.12, does not work. Um, what this states is this element increases the damage received by targets, can be stacked onto them to a maximum number of stacks value. So it does not increase the damage received by the targets. It is either bugged or something. Uh, as of 1.0.12, curse does nothing. All right. So, but why do we want curse stacks then? Very, very simple. To get the maximum benefits from immortal offering. So, when you kill an enemy, you get you get the corresponding stacks uh, corresponding to the element it has. So, you get your curse stacks very easily with this. All right. So that that's going to be a 25% multiplicative with immortal offering. Uh, mark of impurity itself is 20% uh, multiplicative. Uh, increased damage. If there are a couple of uh, modifiers here you can take uh, to increase it even further. So big game hunting is another 10% multiplicative and a sentence accepted is another 10% as well. So 20, 10, 10, we got 40% multiplicative here. Weight of culpability at this moment as of 1.0.12 does not work either. So this might be another 10% uh, but we do not know because uh, it is it is actually bugged right now, so it does not work. All right. So my my preferred setup is is like so. So we get the twenty percent, we get the ten percent more, so we deal thirty percent more damage. Um, the mark enemy gets cursed, so we get we get our immortal offering stacks very easily. If you have another way of inflicting curse stacks, please uh, feel free to remove this one and take some something else. Um, but yeah. I, I don't, so I usually use it. Uh, Fate of the Unholy. This is the main reason people take Mark. So every mob that dies will deal damage around it uh, in an area of effect uh, based on, on their uh, max HP, right? So this, this is actually very, very powerful because this gets multiplied by all your damage bonus, all your multipliers, and on top of that, it can crit. So this is this is super powerful. This is how you one-shot bosses basically. You get a lot of small mobs under one boss, and then you, you you kill off the small mobs, and the boss will just will just disappear, right? So this is the main reason you take it. You always take this when you take um, the mark of impurity. And mark enemies spread their mark to nearby enemies when they are killed. So remember how I said that uh, the trial belt is not 100% chance to inflict the mark. So this is the main reason I take this. So that every single mob that is under the boss will get the mark as soon as one dies and then they will all deal their maximum health as damage to the boss. So this is why this is my preferred setup. 20% damage, 10% more, curse stacks for immortal offering, uh, this one is self-explanatory. You, this one is the main reason you take it. So uh, the mobs deal damage according to their max health, and then the mark spreads. Other other nodes that you could take, if if you can, uh, let's say you you can inflict curse uh, another way, uh, you could take the increased crit damage dealt. But this is always uh, worse than taking big game hunting or a sentence accepted. This will always be worse. Uh, yeah. So you could go like this if you can inflict curse uh, another way, or uh, if you don't want the mark to spread, uh, you could go like this. Basically, that's it, guys. So uh, my favorite setup is like so, and uh, with the trial belt, it is very, very powerful, and like pro this is the most powerful item in the game right now. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching.